Mr. Fancy Pants. What are you going to do, huh? Bore me to death with your vanity? Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another TMNT figure review set on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dimension X, Mozart, Lord Dreg, and the Fujitoid. I gotta give a big thanks to Playmates Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check their YouTube channel. Link is below. On the back of the packaging, you can see there's a read-up on Mozart. If you want to read it, pause it now. Then for Lord Dreg, you can go ahead and read it. Pause it now. And then if you want to read the one on Fujitoid, go ahead and pause it now. Then you can see there's a bunch of other figures that came out from the basic line, including the Dimension X Turtles, which I've already reviewed. Alright, let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's all three figures out of the packaging. And these are pretty cool figures. The Lord Dreg especially. I like this one a lot. Fujitoid, I'm very happy to have. Professor Honeycutt. And then we also have Captain Mozart over there looking pretty awesome as well. I think the paint on these is pretty decent. A little bit better on Lord Dreg than any of them, I think. But anyway, let's take a closer look at each of these guys. Here's a close look at the Fujitoid. Pretty cool figure. Not a whole lot going on. And there are two versions of this. There's one that comes with the vac metal that comes with the Dimension X Turtles. And I think this one's actually pretty neat because it has this pearlescent white that I really like a lot. Nice clean yellow paint apps right over there. I really like how the expressions through his eyes are in the cartoon. I think that's always really cool. I'm looking on the back right there. And then you can see it's more of a flat white color with the paint right here on the arms and the legs as opposed to the torso and this part of the arm right here. I wish there was a bendy wire in this. That would have been really nice to see that. But anyway, you get some nice yellow paint right there on his little fingers. And you can see some nice sculpted rivets and everything throughout on the legs. And he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Now as far as articulation goes, you could rotate Professor Honeycutt's head side to side. It does not move up and down so much. You get this hinge right over here at the shoulder and it can rotate forward. You also get a swivel right here at the forearm. And then you don't get any waist movement or anything, but you do get the hips that move outward. You can move the legs forward and then you get a rotation right here at the boot. Then here's a close look at Captain Mozar, leader of the Triceratons. Now, I honestly really mean this as a compliment when I say this. When I saw the picture of this figure on the packaging, I didn't believe that we would get the detailed sculpt that we're getting on the frill of this guy. And it just looks spectacular so playmates really came through on that you can see all kinds of sculpted detail in there I just think that looks incredible Wow, uh, I'm very pleased with that. That looks great. The paint apps are pretty decent. You get some nice silver paint right there. Then we get this scarred eye over here on the left, and then he has a blue eye on the right. And the paint for the horns looks okay. Got some nice sculpted detail in the horns as well. I just really dig this attention to detail here, though. That looks great, man. And even looking on the back right there. Very, very thorough with the sculpt on this guy. And his suit looks really good too. I really like that. Nice texture to it and everything. And then get his Triceraton emblem right there. Nice scar. I guess I could have changed the paint right there where this little tear is right there in his suit. And then looking at his hands, he's got his Triceraton hands going on right there. Same thing with this side. He doesn't come with any weapons, which I think is a bummer. Especially on the back, they do mention that he has like plasma cannons and stuff like that. But yeah, there's he doesn't come with any weapons at all. And I'm not a big fan of these hollow boots right here. You know what I mean? But I guess it's not too much of a big deal. I mean, I guess, yeah, as soon as you get him kicking or something like that. And he does have the peg holes right there. And the tail looks really nice on this figure too. So the scales are just really well done through and through. And I really like how his spine looks right here. I gotta thank Sean Long for letting me catch up to the Dimension X episodes. The Krang and the Triceratons really remind me of the Kree and the Scrolls, right? I don't know, am I the only one that has that in mind when I see those episodes? Anyway, you get rotation over here at the head, it just swivels like that. You get the shoulders that move outward, they can move forward, he has rotation right here at the wrist. Then he does have a waist swivel, his hips move outward that much, and he can get them to kick forward. He also has tail rotation over here too. I really wish he had some kind of ankle movement. It'd make me feel like I could do more with the figure. And then here's a close look at Lord Dreg. Now one thing to mention, I should have mentioned this earlier, is that Lord Dreg and Moza are both going to be exclusive to Walmart stores up until 2016. So at the beginning of 2016 you could find them anywhere, but for right now they're exclusive to Walmart. Anyway, looking at this figure, I think they did a really good job on this guy. I do have a couple of gripes though. Uh, looking right here, you get some decent paint apps. A little bit of purple coming through right there on the eye, but still not too shabby. I really like this purple dry brushing right here at the very top of his head. 
think that looks really good. And you get some more of that throughout the figure as well. You get some really cool translucent plastic right there for the torso. And you can see his guts inside a little bit. I think that is awesome. Now I think he's supposed to be more translucent throughout on the rest of his body. And I did notice in the cartoon, he did kind of look like he had like stars or sparkles or something like that. So if they had added some kind of glitter in the plastic, that would have been superb. That would have been really, really cool to see that. But it still looks pretty nice, you know. And I really like the added paint right here to the arms. Even though I think these are supposed to be translucent with the rest of the body anyway. But you can see right here we get some nice orange mixed in there with the pink and purple on top of it. So nice color variation on the arms here. I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. And the sculpt looks really nice as well. And he does have his wings back here. Unfortunately, these do not split open. They're just kind of glued together. So it would have been nice if you could split them apart. But you can rotate them around. You can see more of his guts and stuff right there in the back. And his legs look okay. You know, ooh, get those Lord Dreg toes. Yeah, Lord Dreg toes look pretty nice. And he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet. And you can see his tail right over here. Kind of looks like a little pincer. He also got some nice sculpted detail on the inside of the tail. I really dig that. So the articulation on this figure is decent. You can rotate the head side to side a little bit right over here. Uh, the shoulders move outward very far and they do move forward. He has these smaller arms right over here that you could rotate side to side. And because they're on ball joints, you can kind of shift them in and out like that and forward and back a little bit. You get these hip joints right here that allow him to move outward that much at the legs and he can kick all the way up to his own head. That's cool, so I don't know. You could do some kind of tumbling attack or something like that, I don't know. And then you also get tail rotation right here and you can rotate the wings. I wish this guy came with weapons. That's one other thing I needed to mention is he doesn't come with any weapons. Now measuring these guys out, they are basic line figures, so they're all standing just a little over five inches tall, but unfortunately they are not in scale with each other. There's no way the Fujitoid and Captain Mozart are supposed to be the same height. Then here's the three new figures next to Dimension X Leonardo, and again, not necessarily in scale. And then here's the three figures next to my vintage Triceraton, which is very broken. Is it just me or does this guy have a lot more paint than this guy over here, huh? It does look like he has more paint. The toes are painted, the fingernails are painted, no fingernails painted over here. Plus there's a lot more just paint overall on this guy. And then here they are next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Whoa. Why do I want to jump all of a sudden? So for the most part, I really like these figures. I thought the sculpt on Mozart was very impressive. I'm happy to have a Fujitoid, pretty basic figure. And I think the paint on this Lord Dreg right here is more than what we're typically seeing for these basic figures. Unfortunately, I feel like these do not match up into scale. I really wish Playmates would do that. You know, just having a larger Triceraton would have been a lot cooler. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you have the age of 18 or older, please check out my Patreon account. And if you're any age, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toynewseye.com for the latest in action figure news. I'll catch you guys later. Booyaka bunga! That's crispy. And here's all three figures. Ooh.